Man, that, that's a glorious trailer right there. Comes in a little over 6,300 pounds as we see it here today. But remember that weight could vary pretty greatly depending on the options that we're looking at. 2606 WS Rockwood land in here at Halet RV. Super popular model, been around for a few years and they just keep tightening the screws. It just keeps getting a little bit better every year, you know? Now with this size and weight range, she's gonna fall within the realm of reasonable half ton towability. Obviously, all kinds of different vehicles have all kinds of different capacities, and if you don't know what your vehicle can handle, please call our team here at Halet RV so that we can put your safety before the sale and make sure that you're getting the right RV for your vehicle wants and needs. Now this RV has just a laundry list of amazing qualities, and I'm gonna do my best to hit on what I think are the highest points on them, like the way that this comes standard from the factory, the tire pressure monitoring system. Uh, you're gonna see all kinds of upgrades and options on this one. Uh, one thing I do wanna point out though is the specific RV we're looking at this video, it is actually built uh, to a customer's request. It's a uh, basically like a pre-sold camper. I'm kind of putting some footage together to them almost as a courtesy as much as anything else. So they have a visual record of this thing when it first came in brand new. But what I will do for you folks is uh, give you the grand tour of her and then show you some of the areas where this one's going to vary compared to what we might have in stock here at Halet RV. And just like these folks did. You just give us a call. We'll get one built to your specifications, your wants and needs, because at the end of the day, you know, it's your money, not ours, and we definitely want you satisfied. Now, if I seem like uh, a little more of like a space cadet today, uh, I'm operating on very little sleep. I don't know what the deal was. Like three or four different people all that work here, we all woke up at like three o'clock yesterday and never went back to sleep. It was weird. We all had the same thing happen. So I guess we all had visions of GeoPros dancing in our heads, you know? Um, <laughs> so I mentioned that this is a customer's pre-ordered unit. And I want to point out some of the options and differences that you have available here. For instance, right here, we're looking at a hide-a-bed sleeper sofa. We would probably very commonly outfit this with a theater seat here at Halet RV because that would put you directly across from the entertainment center. If I take a seat here, you kind of see what I mean. And I'm all the way against the slide wall, so you could even slide more directly in front of that. Um, now, speaking of things while we're looking over here, the entire woodwork. Uh, this is the standard uh, wood tone package here. There is also a lighter, brighter wood tone package. That will change the flooring as well. The flooring and the wood is one option. The good news is uh, it's a no-cost option, so it's not like you're going to go broke doing it. Another couple things that you have available is a different fabric thing. This is what's called chocolate. It's the slightly darker option. The uh, folks that bought this got it with a little bit darker interior decor. It does give it a very rich, dignified, stately kind of look, I think. I personally prefer the stone uh, fabric, which is a little bit brighter. I like the lighter interiors on things. What won't change though, is just the, the the breeze windows all the way around that super slide right there. Now you can see how you've got that extra large uh, door to get you into the bedroom. We've kind of looked at things around. What I want to do here is give you a quick crack at all the storage. By the way, you have the option for a freestanding table and chairs there as well. One other thing I wanted to mention to you is you have a different refrigerator choice too. What we're looking at here is the standard eight cubic foot two-way refrigerator freezer. Going to be very good if you're gonna do some off-grade camping. Also has that auto changeover backup in case you happen to lose power, you know. Uh, you do have the option of also outfitting these with one of those uh, 10.7 cubic foot DC uh, compressor fridges. Now, a very cool thing with Rockwood, when you do that, it automatically comes with a solar package and inverter. And it's those extra details Rockwood's doing that most brands with the 12-volt fridge things just are not. 
Over here in the kitchen, you might have noticed solid surface counters. It's a stainless sink down there, easy reach outlets. And did you catch that extra large countertop extension right there? You can take that off, put that on. You need to take it off if you're going to close the slide, by the way. <laughs> Otherwise, you are going to not be happy about that. Of course, we have that front windshield, but I want you to get to see that it does have that shade to pull down, so you're not going to be cooking like an ant in a magnifier glass. You know what I mean? Uh, up front here... I've got this one kind of dropped down. I actually shot myself in the foot. I meant to have that flipped up so that you can see all the storage here in the bedroom. Now we got kind of a look at it sitting from the sofa, but just to kind of complete the visual, that's where I was sitting over there by that window all the way against the wall. You saw that direct facing, easy viewing entertainment center. And how about all that awesome, tasty pantry space down below the TV? And did you notice this is a larger oven? Rockwood's really good about that. They give us a, uh, a, a bigger oven so you can actually do some real cooking in it if you are a little bit of one of them campsite chefs. Just like we had for the bedroom, You've got yourself that extra large sliding door to get you into the bathroom space there. And porcelain foot flush stool here with gobs of leg space. If you are looking for fantastic leg room, this one's going to get the job done. Now every brand has their little niches that they do very well. And I have always felt that Rockwood has like one of the very best bathroom arrangements out there. Something they understand better than pretty much any brand I've ever seen is giving us storage in the bathroom here. But it's more than just that. It's the little touches, like a larger sink for big adult size hands, and that extra little utility shelf right there. So I got a place to actually put some, you know, like uh, it's got slots for my toothbrushes, stuff like that. So I don't have to like constantly be pulling them in and out of the little travel cases in my medicine cabinet where they never really air out nicely anyway. Flipping around, we see that beautiful tri-panel glass enclosed shower space there. That is also pretty nicely sized for an American-sized adult, as I like to say. And you see the little sticker there mentioning the shower miser. That is this little blue doohickey right here on the uh, shower knobs. If you're in the parks, you don't use that. When you're dry camping, you flip that thing on uh, basically to conserve all your fresh water possible so you don't end up wasting any of it down the gray tank while you're doing things like uh, soaping up your hair or uh, getting your water to the correct temperature, you know? Then there's the other little Rockwood touches, like that little shower caddy right there to give me a place to keep body wash, and I would say hair care products, but I don't need a whole lot of those. My wife, on the other hand, and especially my daughter, oh my lord, does she have just a glorious mane about her. Now, this is a six and a half foot sidewall, and it has a vaulted roof. Normally, a six and a half foot sidewall means my head has to be in the bubble. But, uh, meaning the skylight, uh, the vaulted roof nature of this and the way that Rockwood's laminated roof structure allows them to place the skylight exactly where they want it, though, it makes this very comfortable. I just walk in, I stand up, and I don't ever feel like it's cramping my style. Not that I really have any style. Now, quick little display here for you with the slide out closed. You can still get to the bathroom. The door is obstructed a little bit, but I mean, you're going to have to be a sumo wrestler to not fit through there. And I know that that actually, uh, I joke about that. I know we've got some bigger folks that like to go camping. I just want to give you a realistic idea of what we're looking at here today. Now, when we get over around into the kitchen, the vast majority of pretty much anything you're going to need remains accessible. Be a little careful opening those drawers. You can open them enough to probably get to stuff. They won't open fully. But then we have the question of, yeah, well, what about the bedroom? And with the slide closed, you do lose it. But I've got a way around that. Like, if you want to make an overnight travel stop, this is a rack and pinion slide. And one of the benefits of a rack and pinion slide is that you can open it partially temporarily. You don't want to leave it like that long term. So what you can do is you can actually uh, get into the bedroom and then use the in-command system built into the uh, you know control panel over here and remote control the slide close behind you. And in case you're curious as to why the lights are flickering, this RV is literally uh, being taken off the delivery truck as we speak. And as they're playing with the powered tongue jack, it's amping some things out. That's actually a pretty normal thing. And I mean... <laughs> 
where do you start on something like this? Everywhere you look, there's all kinds of crazy good stuff to talk about. Like this is a uh, an RV that has a drop frame uh, chassis on it, just like a big fifth wheel, which is what's giving us this monstrously sized pass-through compartment. And notice it's a full, true pass-through. You can see the aluminum structure in there. Now those boxes, what we're looking at right there, that is the griddle, bracket, little work table, and a power cord. All of that stuff stacked up right there. And it looks minuscule in this thing. Like, you know, <laughs> it'd be like if a basketball looked like a wiffle ball. It just doesn't look right. Now all of that grill, griddle stuff would uh, be able to go over here. You see that black horizontal mounting line above the tires. That's where that would be located, uh, right below an outside TV hookup. Now that entry door is anti-slam, by the way, so uh, if you feel like doing the Miss Piggy Hi and whacking that thing with your hand, it's really not gonna go anywhere. I'm not going to do that since this RV is not ours and I don't wanna be smacking around a customer's camper, of course. Now when Rockwood goes to the three-step entry thing here for Moride, you get a little bonus feature. You get what I call the zero gravity step system and those legs are individually easily adjustable. And I tell you what, I'm feeling froggy. I think I'm gonna hop backwards here a little bit across this rocky, icy ground. And we're gonna go around this camper backwards today. How about that? We're gonna moonwalk this thing. <laughs> wow, look at the size of that power awning. That is a big power awning. And notice how well it clears the entry door. The reason you're gonna like that, ladies and gentlemen, is when an awning massively clears the entry door like that, it means that when it's raining outside, you're not gonna get spritzed in the face. So if, uh, you know, it is just a little bit drizzly and you've got cabin fever, you're driving each other crazy on the inside of the RV all day, you can come out here, have your lawn chair under the awning and not get rained on all day. On the back, I love that hard shell cover that Rockwood puts on there. Uh, just one of those extra things that they do to kick it up a notch and uh, offer a little more protection on that spare Goodyear tire. Because even the spare, all the tires on this are Goodyear Endurance Radials, 87 mile an hour rated. Standard uh, accessory hitch on the back there, so if you choose to add something like a bike rack, you can do so without voiding your warranty. But those things, there's like a whole variety of accessories that can fit into those. Uh, I've seen um, like little cargo trays, I've seen just little light fixtures, I've seen a hammock. Whoops, bumped the button there. <laughs> I've seen a hammock that can actually slide in there, although that's a lot of torque. I don't know if i do that. Of course, there's also the bumper dumper. And if you don't know what that is, first of all, good for you. Secondly, Google it. Third, <laughs> it's not pretty. Good look here at those optional slide awnings. That is something that we like to apply like 10 times out of 10 to our in-stock Rockwoods almost every time here at Halet RV. 10 times out of 10. That does sound like every time, and then I say almost every time. Uh, okay, 9.5 times out of 10, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll retcon the rest of that. <laughs> we also do like to uh, do the same thing the previous owners did here with that white exterior. Normally, Rockwoods have like a cream base color with like a deep chocolate brown where this one is white with graphite. And again, I don't think it looks bad. I don't think Rockwood makes anything that isn't really, really sharp, sharp. And uh, thing is though, this white coloring, it just looks cleaner, sharper, more well-defined, a little more modern. The other thing is it is also a little bit cooler in the scorching summer sun. Uh, the uh, jacks here, four corner power stabilizer jacks, power tongue jack, basically everything on this is push button simple and easy. You can also see up here we have ourselves a little simple side mount solar prep plug and even though this RV was not built with the factory solar option, you can get from Rockwood a 190 watt roof solar package plus 1000 watt inverter. Um, and that, that package, by the way, that solar package comes automatically if you choose to upgrade uh, this RV to the 12 volt refrigerator. I mentioned briefly the, uh, what do I want to say here? Not more ride suspension. Good Lord, I just totally blanked. My train went off the rails. Goodyear tires. That's what I was wanting to say. 87 mile uh, an hour rated, American made Goodyears. The other thing that you're not seeing though, is that Rockwood ships all of their travel trailers and fifth wheels with a standard tire pressure monitoring system to give you more peace of mind and uh, less scary tire flats and blowouts going down the road. And how about that? That is a sharp piece right there. I like how those folks put that together. That's the thing though. I've never really seen a Rockwood. 
I didn't like. I've never looked at a rock band and been like, well, that was stupid. It, they just... Everything they do, it's just better and better still. They don't even do good. They don't do fair. They always do excellent. It's like excellence comes standard at Rockwood. I would like to think that holds true as well here at Halid RV. And if you agree with that, hit that subscribe button and like this video. Follow along here and leave me a couple comments. Let us know uh, what did you like about the RV. Any questions or how actually how would you prefer to see one of those built? I'd really love to know that. What would your preferred build and loadout and list of options on this RV be? Really, really appreciate hearing some feedback like that. And as always, remember we don't do hidden dealer fees. We only do everything else. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone. Mm -hmm.